What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another freaking epic review. Now you'll see from the title above, it's now King Line Nutrition. If you are familiar with my videos of these cookie dough taste tests, I've been doing so many of them where the name of the company has been well, it's gone from the Lions Pack to the Lions Choice now to King Line Nutrition. I can't remember the full explanation as to why they've changed it. But anyways, we're gonna be now referring to these taste tests as King Line Nutrition. Now you will see that they still have the Lions Choice on them um, due to the fact that I got it like prior to the name change. So we've got some epic flavors to try today, some that I didn't get to try in the previous taste test. So super stoked to do, oh my gosh, six of them today. So yeah, let's just get into the flavors that we have before us. But if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. We've got more than just cookie dough recipes. I've got cookie recipes coming out for you guys. So, and if you haven't even heard of these guys, there are these vegan cookie doughs that you can eat. They do have gluten-free options for those who may be celiac or gluten intolerant, but otherwise, all vegan, all freaking delicious, so I'm stoked to try it. these new flavors. So we've got two Christmas flavors, as well as four other new flavors that they have. With two Christmas flavors, we've got eggnog right here, as well as Santa cookie. So I'm guessing that's like a sugar cookie. And then the other ones, we've got this blueberry frosted Pop-Tart. They had come out with another, I think it was strawberry Pop-Tart that we tried earlier. We've got apple fritter donuts. They've had like a sugar donut. Brown butter toffee. Sounds amazing. And then this one, I'm quite excited for. Pistachio caramel, because I love pistachio ice cream. So I'm gonna serve a little bit of each and then we'll get into taste testing them and talking about the macros. All right, you guys, we have quite an array of cookie doughs. Oh my gosh, it was so hard not to just like eat it right off the spoon when I was serving it. But I think we're just gonna go right to left. So starting from here, we've got eggnog, which is 100 calories, four fats, 13 carb, and four protein. And oh my goodness, it smells like freaking eggnog. Let's see if it tastes like eggnog. That is wild. Oh my goodness. If it wasn't like a holiday only flavor, hopefully they come out with it next Christmas, but that is so good. Luckily we have flavors here that are still around, but wow, that tastes like eggnog and it's not too overpowering. I will say there may be a little too much of like the cinnamon that's in eggnog where I would have liked more of an eggnoggy taste, but wow, I think that would be also good bait because these are bakeable as well but as for just the cookie dough oh, yo mm, very freaking good ooh blueberry frosted pop tart i just love here the colors how fun is that so this is three fat 14 carb four protein 100 calories but yeah that is just so cute oh my goodness i love it let's see mmm mmm Oh wow, the berry taste is really good. Wow, it reminds me more of like having like, if this was a mix of like a grape, blueberry, boysenberry jam. I mean, it is more prominently blueberry, like more of a sugary, fakey blueberry, but you can taste that it's like a fruity flavor and I love it, especially with like the little sprinkles and everything inside of it. Oh my gosh, it's so good, wow. Now we got apple fritter donut. Mmm. This one just looks super creamy. Hoping it's nice and apple-y some sort. Oh, let me get rid of the rest of the blueberry. Mm. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. Mmm. I mean, Texture-wise, it's really soft, and the palate, it's just, I don't know how to describe it, other than really soft on the palate. No crunchy or anything texture-wise, other than just like the softness of it. <laughs> I hope I'm describing that well. 
As for taste, it's like, I would almost call this like an apple cobbler. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I've ever had like an apple fritter donut in my life, but it tastes like a sweet cinnamony apple. So I guess that's why you can call it apple fritter, but it could also be like apple cobbler or something else, apple, something sweet, apple pie even. But it's good, I like it. I mean, I didn't know what to expect for it. Mm. No, I enjoy that very much. Now this one, brown butter toffee. I'm quite excited for it because I was looking at it and it's got these chunks of chocolate chip and like toffee in it. So I made sure in the spoonful, I got a little bit of it. Oh my goodness. So that looks good. Ooh, trying to get all of it Ooh, in one bite. Mmm. Oh man. Chocolate chip, toffee, so good. A little hint of salt that just helps bring out the flavor. Wow. Mmm. That could be my top flavor. But, oh, I forgot to talk about the macros. This is 110 calories, 5 fat, 14 carb, 4 protein for the toffee. 5 fat, 14 carb, 4 protein. So, but yes, the pistachio I'm pretty excited for because I used to love pistachio ice cream and it's so freaking green. It's awesome. And it's got like a nice little chunk of pistachio right there. So super stoked to try this flavor. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's great. I love that it's not overpowering in the pistachio. I think they could have totally like overdone it. It's a really good amount. Sometimes I notice with their flavors, things can be too overpowering. I noticed that last time we did like that French toast, the maple syrup just came out too much. But that, oh my gosh, that's a top contender as well. Like these two. Uh, plus the blueberry, plus eggnog. I don't know. We'll see towards the end what I vote for the best. But Santa's cookie, yo, look at that. We've got sprinkles. We've got like white chocolate chips. Nice and freaking festive. So excited. So I feel like it's gonna be almost sugar cookie wise. Mm-hmm. Mm, very sweet. Very, very sweet. Freaking delicious. 100 calories, three fat, 14 carb, four protein. Wow. Yo, none of these are ones that like, I would be hesitant about buying again. I would buy all of these absolutely again. And what's awesome is they have a pack of four. So if you do either the four pack or the 10 pack, it obviously costs less than doing just a singular one. Plus you can use my coupon code and save 15% on your order. So. Go check them out. Holy cannoli. So let me clean this up real quick and then we're gonna come down to which is my absolute favorite. All right guys, so I think the deliberation is complete when it comes to picking my favorite. Now these are flavors. Like I said, I would buy them all again. So it's not gonna mean that the last place one is bad, but it's just not as good as the rest or it doesn't uh, like it would be an 8 out of 10, we're all a 9 or 10 out of 10. And so I'm gonna start from last to first. I think last I would put apple fritter donut just because, I don't know, it's like apple pie, kind of basic. Not saying it's not unique, but that name could be applied, or the name could, a different name could be applied to the flavor. So I think after that, ah, uh, Santa's cookie. Is one of those that it's also just like a sugar cookie. So there is sugar cookie available, whereas this was seasonal. So if you want to get that kind of flavor, go for it. Otherwise, for me, I'm like, it gets sweet really quickly. Oh, so we're left to these guys. I think I'm gonna put eggnog after, cause I like it, but there's not too much textural difference, nothing crunchy or anything in it. And then after that, I'm gonna definitely put the blueberry French to, or Pop Tart because this is so freaking good. But it's not as good as what I thought about these two over here the pistachio caramel and the brown butter toffee. These almost like win for both first place due to the fact that the pistachio 
I mean, I know not everyone likes pistachio, so that's why I'm gonna put these two as the top flavor. So if you like pistachio, go for pistachio. If you don't like pistachio, go for brown butter toffee because the chunks of the toffee with the chocolate chips was phenomenal. And it was not too overly sweet because I know some of their sweeter cookie flavors can be quite overpowering. I mean, the good thing about it is then you don't eat too much, so you won't like binge on it. But wow, it was so fun trying six flavors with you guys. Let me know down below what flavor you want to try. We're gonna have to do another giveaway soon because these are so freaking good. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It, it's free, you know? Helps your girl out, you know? And let me know in the comment section below what videos you want to see next. But if you did enjoy this review, do give it a big thumbs up. Otherwise, we've got recipe, I think, coming out for you guys next, if not a full day of eating. So, we'll see what comes out first. But anyways, I love you guys. Get some cookie dough. Eat it up, because these are so macro-friendly. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.